Okay, I'm going to play some more Terra Randoma, version 0.694 Charlie, 12.5 ZSK. So let's continue. This could be the end of the Highlander. I think he's going to ascend. <laughs> I think, though, before I go fight the Kraken, because I don't know how quickly I'll cleave through a turn with the Calamari, I do want to try this out, and I want to try the range attacks a bit more. There's a quick patch. I guess I was doing the, the F attack wrong, the, the fire command. I was just... There's no... Combat's too near the tower. Come on. Oh, okay, Stone Golems. We'll play. So essentially, see, I click F. What I was expecting is just he would just auto fire the closest target. So what I have to do is actually keyboard range attack mode. So I was, uh, previously, I was mousing over and just clicking F, which would accomplish nothing because you could just click F like that on it. This thing's actually pretty tough. Hmm. I actually don't want to shoot them right now, actually. I do want to test it though. Uh, Alright, I will go over here and number pad move just to get myself some distance and then whack him. One, two, three, four. Four works. And then it's going to leave. So I click F. Leap, so I can number pad over and then F target him, you see? Okay. I wonder. Okay, that kind of works. It tells you how, how exactly how far you can fire. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six tiles away. So, it, it does work. I was just trying to combine the two previously. Uh, so, adjacent enemy. I, I need him to be adjacent. I'm going to try that. Look how much of a... And then, so if I click... Oh, that's not good. I don't know that. And I'll slip to here. Yeah, escape out. He can fire pretty far, huh? Eight, I guess? Because we're counting going across this diagonals. There's two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, he's got quite a good range. I want to try this. I have to get closer together. But if I mess around too much, it will be dangerous for me. I do have to thin these guys out a bit. <laughs> Another level. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Try 36! Because you want those even modifiers, right? Hmm. Intimidation 5, you give me anything? Not really. I gained two rep from towns and you successfully intimidate. My, <laughs> my rep is. I'm good, I'm good. Swiftness for more crit. That's, that's the move. I'm on fire. That's not good. I want... Crap. Well, let's see what it looks like. <laughs> oh, poisoned him. That's pretty good. I should be careful I don't get slowed. There we go. Hmm. We know four works. There's six. Six works. Yeah. Because previously eight wasn't. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight didn't work. We see if seven does. I do want to do another battle just to. Well, I have to sell things anyway. But. Might as well make a little space in the bag, right? I need to inventory too. Wear on these rocks a bit. Ah, oh, this fatigue me. Not bad though. I, I need those anyway. Hmm. Grass eat. So I do want to see before I go deal with the Kraken. Centipedes. These things are actually pretty tough. We'll fight them. One dude. No, I don't want one, one centipede. Alright, so. I do want to try seven, right? Seven works. Okay. And I click F. And we'll enter confirm it. Now fire again. Hmm. Looks pretty good. And we'll 
<laughs> I walked next to him. Because I was like, I could just fire. No, now I'm stunned. That's bad. You got lucky of stunning me there. Yeah. He has like a charge attack or something. <laughs> One shot. I do wonder when I... Yeah, I likely will. When I defeat the boss, will I be able to continue the adventure? I don't know. Let me check something here. Okay, sorry about that. Now, I'm thinking... I want to wander around here a little bit. Just I, I do want to test the... A few more things with firing and the toxic arrows. See if it'll actually hit a group. Do you want to verify it does that? Pretty sure it does. I just want to see the graphical change or anything. Because I don't know if I'll abandon campsite. Sure. I don't know if the Kraken's going to be immune to arrows or what. So if I click F on it, and then if I click C. Oh! <laughs> that can also mess people up, I suppose. So what happened was I clicked F, and then I just walked towards him, right? Hmm. I'll check something. Set down. I click. Okay, so I. Okay. F changes the functionality of the key. Okay, I see. And you can't shoot someone next to you. Uh, eight. Eight still doesn't work. Seven works, but it's a waste. Because I won't trigger next to him. Hmm. Okay. Not bad. Really. Hmm. I'll get why not. <laughs> I'll take it. Get that money there. Getting his tent? Nah, we'll go in there. Let's sell some stuff. Interesting. I do want to get all the, the toying around out of my system because I, I don't mess around with the Kraken too much. I'll, I'll crush him probably, but I don't want to mess it up. Hmm. This actually kind of works as to give me opportunities to make more potions. <laughs> and Rastini. That's probably enough, I think. Let's go fight him. Shipwreck. This place seems dangerous. You want to have enough potions. I investigate. An antique jade chest. What's that? What's over there? It's a Kraken tentacle. It is fearless. It regenerates health 10%. Oh my. Oh my. I wonder how strong that regeneration is. It's like a troll from a little D&D. If you drop it, it'll get back up. It'll be horrifying. I have to burn him. Oh, that's a lot of them. Oh no. Hmm. Oh, should I fight him? Because I can't hide in the water. The water restricts me, not it. Hmm. <laughs> Crack and head, champion, fearless, and bleed. He bleeds. He doesn't regenerate, though. Okay. Okay. Right click. Ooh. Right click. F. One, two, three, four. No. Well, let me check it right here, right? Hmm. Did. The graphic didn't seem to differ, but. <laughs> I think I'm the big boss here. That's two limbs down right there. He's fearless, but not stunless, right? <laughs> he can be stunned. And... Oh my god, 74! <laughs> it even look like... I cleave half his eye off, and Jesus. Oh my. <laughs> Boom, right? Oh my god. You slow it down, buddy. And I don't want them to surround me, though. That would be bad. I, you know, I should probably actually use some of my potions, huh? 74. 112! <laughs> should have done it before I'm more ridiculous. I do want to see if they regenerate. 54. I mean, come back completely. I don't think they do. 
Poisoned? Actually, I didn't think there's that. Disease curing. I don't really want that. Little potion. I'll check little potion. Mmm. Drink that. If I move, does it really accomplish anything, though? Not really. I should just cleave through his limbs. Look at that. They're not even hitting me. <laughs> My hit chance is 123%. I cannot miss. Hmm. Chill out. They're all stunned, right? So I should wail. Oh, well. They do regenerate quickly, so you do have to focus fire them. Hmm. Seven, ew. Ooh, that's nice. <laughs> Okay, well, two arms, right? My defensive shield down? It is. Just in case there's lots of loot. I gotta make room for the loot, right? Yup. So I'm not concerned at all, Kraken. You hit me 54. Ow. Oh, um, myself get too fatiguing. Goodbye. He lived. <laughs> Not anymore. Oh, his limbs on the ground like that. You witness Aqua Tathra, I think. The world devourer fallen before you. This is a victory told for bards for generations. You've earned the title Mythic Hero and remembered as such. I think they ripped me off. I don't want to be Mythic Hero. God King. Just, you know, come on, do all the work. You wonder if this island needs your heroic services anymore, should you just retire. But first, go to the Elder Alchemist, tell him this menace is no more. Ah, oh, cool. Yeah, so I can still venture. That's nice. God, I want that. You know, I can get that, actually. Kiki! <laughs> just bat diving down getting the stuff. That's cool. If the game doesn't just end when you kill the boss, right? Because, you know, it was always a new boss, right? Why not? Which, and you want the treasure, right? Always six things. This guy, this Kraken had a fork. He was, like, playing with the fork, I guess. He looked pretty crappy, Kraken. <laughs> what are you attacking? He was attacking the town for better loot. <laughs> yeah, chest is worth everything more, <laughs> more than everything was in it. These are cool. What if you go to push those? You have the push ability. I looked to get it. I couldn't see. How do I? Oh, okay, over there. Okay. That's interesting. So you can flee the Kraken. Okay. Yay. He's dead. Yeah. Should I do now? Sell stuff is what I should do. I'm gonna talk to the Elden Alchemist. I'm gonna do that. Sell, 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 sell. And rest, eat, save. Let's see. What does he say? Greeting, Mythic Hero. You have achieved what seemed unachievable. Please accept this 5,000 gold as a token of gratitude. The honor to be safe for another 10,000 years. That's a long time, so who knows? Okay, and I can still wander around. He has nothing else to say to me. Hmm. Okay, so I talked to the Elder Alchemist, and I can't d do anything else on this screen. That's fine. So I did it. Yay, I win. Yay, me. I kind of figured I would. I mean, come on, look at that. I've seen it. It's probably stronger than the damn Kraken. And we learned that the limbs do not regenerate from the drop stake, so they're dead. Hmm. Now what should I do? I suppose I can head over to the Adventures Guild. Some time left, why not? We can talk about what my next character will be. Oh, Homer Cove's in trouble. They need me. <laughs> oh, yes, I need you, Mr. Boys. We shall battle. I'll tell you something, Brad Moore. I mean, it's the purest way to do it, right? So I click F, and then uh, and not enter. Well, enter should probably work too, but 
I would. Okay. I'll just still down. Uh, although it's like you need like a get command to get things off the inventory. If like you want to like, because you still need the mouse to play the game, right? It would be interesting if you could play completely absent mouse. Because I'm moving around absent the mouse. I can now fire absent the mouse. I can't access inventory absent the, with the keyboard. Unfortunately, that's not inventory I'd like that. If I'm moving around with the mouse, is nice. Famine, huh? I can help with that. Ooh, look at that money. Double price. More. 714, yeah, a little over more than half. Look at that. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, they need me. I'm such a hero. <laughs> I just made more from helping this town than killing the Kraken. Maybe. Good looking sword. A little oversized to the handle there. It's more handle than sword almost. Volcanic short sword of infernal punishment. Quality rusty long sword of memorizing Medusa. Mesmerizing Medusa. Hmm. Famine zero days left. Also, I got here just in time to make uh, like 10k, I think. Hmm, what else should I do? A rod crook. Oh, what's my fame now? Uh -huh. Oh! Oh my god, it cost me fame killing the Kraken. Oh, it cut me back to 100. Because what it was is, it auto sets you to 100 when you when you win, right? But I was over 100. Ugh, cost me fame. It's like, oh, fuck you all the great waste of time with the Kraken. That's so lame. You should travel around just making sure we're all fed. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Hmm. What should I do? What should I do? Oh, I'm going to the Adventurous Guild, so I'm doing. So I can... Hyenas. You don't have any meat, hyenas. Go away. No. They, they refuse to go away. Fire. F. Spacebar. Spacebar just skips my turn. Yeah, it always says that. That's fine. Uh, okay. So... <laughs> I'm saying bleeding should reveal your... should break your stealth. Like, it reveals your presence. What the hell did I even do that? Now I can't use it. Yeah, I'm already moving with the mouse again. Because the game is it's initially very mouse driven, right? And I can find a risk. No, I can't actually. I need to eat and eat shop. Hmm. Circle of Poison, that's what I mentioned in the last video, I think. Conjure a Circle of Poison, 30% chance of poison adjacent enemies to hit you, duration 12 turns. That's cool. That's really good. That I mean, that worked on the boss. He's fearless, but not. The Spectral Scream, the Scream of the Banshee, <laughs> instilled within me, was able to stun him. Circle of Fire, yeah. Explosive Arrow. Okay, so that's, that's the fire version of this. Poison cost one than fire. Hmm. That's the push stone I wanted. 100% chance to push melee on a melee hit. Push a new one square back. So you can like, push him into water and lava. That's cool, but I don't like giving up loot. Oh yeah, I'll take that next turn. Next character I make. Hmm. Cool though. The thing is, though, I think if I make a new character, I lose this one. Oh, well, well. You don't think of anything else to do. Well, so, save, I guess. Quick to main map and new game, right? <laughs> Boom, everything gone, probably. What should I make next, thinking about it? Mm, this is the newest guy, the, the brigand. Mm, he's such a stone pushing push. I'm familiar with Bleeding Strike, though. Because hmm. I was using it a lot, this character. The shark. Obviously that, and I'd obviously do this. Because it's now fully an option. It wasn't an option with my Highlander. Highlander's one of the easier characters. I first started playing with the Exiled Prince. He's kind of an archer. One-handed weaponry. Hmm. I mean, the big boss. That fight favors big hits. So, that's your general. It's that particular boss. The thief. Hmm. See, the stats do differ. See, with Highlander, I don't think I put anything else other than strength. So you end up with 36 strength. 
just hyper focused on it. The brigade is he seems to be the same kind of character. The stats are the same. Athletics two hundred weapons. Being him, he'd be too similar to the Highlander. Intimidation, intimidation. Medium armor and thievery. Yeah. And such different talents. The druid would probably be the one I play next. And just focus because he starts with bear shift and crippling strikes awesome. The fire acrobat sounds interesting. Light armor. Obviously, I'm thinking next time I want to go intelligence build because I've done massive strength build. I find the best way to really test the game is to do massively optimized characters, extremely like hyper focus on one thing, which I do for Highlander strength. Hunter, I guess is yeah. He's set up for archery. Those two talents there. Starting with range combat. Right, exile prince. Fire acrobat. Seeing what he's such a fire blade. And athletics, bravery, one-handed swiftness, one-handed bravery, one-handed bravery. Okay, so probably druid. And I want meditation, a lot of meditation. So what would give me that? Hmm. That just doesn't seem good at all. One on one. The other things. Oh, okay, it's, they all give one on one. Just the bigger font was fooling me there. I like this, the star signs do a little more. I like it in Oblivion had them. Elder Scrolls Oblivion. You really have the star stones that give you special powers. And in Skyrim, it was mainly... I mean, some of them had special powers still, but it was mainly just stat boost or level up speeds. The Kraken. <laughs> Wilderness and Bravery? Nah. Twin Weapons and Athletics? I think they did the Minotaur last time in the Highlanders. I'm going to do that again. The Turtle? <laughs> but there, it's like, where do you want your bonus? For a druid, I mean, let's see if I would have clicked druid. Retired gladiator, what's your deal? Roll one attack. Oh, I was never impressed with stunning strike. Stunning strike's good. Hmm, that was good. So, bravery, one hand weaponry, alchemy, wilderness survival, meditation. Hmm. I almost saw the outhouse. Like, oh no, <laughs> that would that'd be funny. <laughs> the mark of the outhouse. <laughs> what would that be? Like, you'd be like, you'd be like a Nosferatu in, <laughs> in Vampire the Masquerade or something. Like, oh god, get away, you're horrible. <laughs> but you get like massive bonuses, like insane strength. Like, a, you're like a gas, you have a horrible aura. <laughs> they smell your power, like Louis the Fourteenth. Man was a beast. Like he never showered at all, babe. Oh. Do I lose his royal essence? <laughs> I'm not kidding. Hmm. Meditation. Heavy armor seems a waste on Druid. Hmm. I'm trying to think what what star summon I want with this guy. Bravery is not bad. Probably the Kraken. The Druid of the Kraken. Anyway. And this is Terry Random by Denise K, and I have beaten it. I have defeated it as Glorious Spoker, the Highlander. Who, you know, obviously he's gonna rule as a god. He's a mythic hero, that's not, that's not gonna roll for him. He's gonna roll into town and take control. And anyone who challenges him will end up on a pike. Yes, how he is. Yeah. But, you know, he'll take that off first. It'll be, be quick, you know, it'll be clean, relatively. Anyway, I'll play some more of this later as the Druid on permadeath mode. Real roguelike. Yeah, roguelike. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, bye.